Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we're gonna take a look how we can install the OnePlus 60 ROM, the Oxygen OS in our Poco F1 devices. So, so here you can see that I just uh, make a video about the OnePlus 60 ROM Oxygen OS, and uh, in this video, we just cover the installation step and uh, a quick little review. So make sure that you just watch this video till last. So without delay, let's get started. For installing this ROM, you need to know that your device must be bootloader unlocked and uh, PWRP will be installed and uh, then you can step forward to the installation step. So make sure that you just done this two step, you must install the TWRP recovery in your phone. Then you need to download some file, I will keep link in the description box. So this one the file, the Oxygen OS, the vendor zip, the magic manager and IR face unlock zip. So this much file you have to download and save it to the one location and after downloading all files just boot your phone into the TWRP mode. So make sure that your previous ROM was running on the Android Pi. So if you don't running on Android Pi or you are running on Android Oreo or something version So make sure that you need to flash the vendor Pi zip for installing this ROM So previously I was running on the MIY Pi ROM so I don't need to flash that the vendor zip file So after booting that the TWRP mode just give into the wipe Add one swipe then select dial with cage system and data This thing you need to select and just swipe to wipe So after done just go to home and check the mount and the mount system vendor firmware everything you need to mount just mount everything just go to the install and select that the room file which will be located here you can so first of all you need to select that the oxygen os then you need to select that the vendor zip then you need to select that the notch pedaling fix the fix up notch then you need to select the IR face unlock then you need to select the last magics manager this file you need to select at the same time and swipe to flush after flushing all the file now just head to the reboot system and it will take almost 2 to 3 minutes or more time so you need to wait and I will meet when the ROM was successfully booted and so the quick little review and all the features Here is the OnePlus 60 Oxygen OS room put it for POCO F1 and I will finally install all the step and getting all the systematic information and here you can see that there is the status bar toggles and we can got the great animation while using an aeroplane mode here you can see that when you are switching that you can getting some animation which is look really cool and the home screen of course we can got the one plus the oxygen os launcher and it's look really really beautiful and this is the lock screen and we can got this finger button but it won't work as you can know and so we need to use this fingerprint to unlock our devices and we can got some type of live wallpaper in our home screen here you can see that and in this room we don't need to flash any G app application because it's pre-installed in room so you won't need to flash any G app application and here you can see that the new recent panel which look really awesome that the rounded recent panel okay so in this room we can got so many extra features and this room is fully stable you can use this room as a daily driver but one but uh, there are so many things that not work like the flashlight one here you can see the flashlight plus red was not working so you need to download an application called torch i will give link in the description box so simply download that application and just turn it off the flash red are working so you need to install any third party application for the torch application 
and one more thing that we can't take portrait shot in the stock oneplus camera and some features are hiding in the notch here you can see that the video resolution settings and the flashlight hiding in the notch panel here you can see that we can't change the setting we just getting the 420p here is some hiding things and 4k so it's not fully stable and not fully worked this camera so you need to install the anx miy camera in this room for getting this anx camera app you need to install the megasig manager so make sure that you just successfully flashed and a fully working megasig manager after doing that just go to module section and just click on the add buttons and add some modules so i will give link in the description box that module so make sure that you download and here you can see that that anx camera burning oxygen zip simply select this zip and just go ahead So here you can see that we just successfully installed that MIY camera in our Oxygen OS. After installing that, just after installing that, just reboot your system. Okay, so here you can see that that ANX camera was successfully installed, and uh, if you getting this type of error, just uh, go to the app info, go back, then go to the permission and allow all the permission for the opening this camera app and now it's simple now we can open this camera app the portrait mode was still not working in this camera app so it's maybe fixed in future but we can also getting that slow motion 60 960 fps and everything was working it's not hiding the notch and a video in video section we can getting almost let me showing you in video section we can getting 4k 30 fps video recording and everything was just fine you can't use that the portrait mode yet it must be fixed in future if you want to use this portrait mode this type of error coming to your phone so avoid this error just go ahead and go to the agnx camera go to the app information storage and clear all the storage for the using this camera again that's pretty much simple so make sure that don't hit the portrait button to do not crash the camera app and everything was working pretty much fine about the gaming performance on this room this room has inbuilt gaming option here you can see that this room has inbuilt gaming mode so definitely this room giving us the pretty much very good gaming performance i will play pubg in this phone and if you are a hardcore gamer you really like this the system of gaming mode so i can okay so i play this game in this phone almost 2 hours and the battery performance was not that good but the game was not lagging that the big deal so i will showing the battery performance so let me go into the screenshot folder so here you can see that i just play pubg 2 hours here you can see i will play pubg almost 2 hours 19 minutes and it's consumed 40 percent of my battery so talking about the battery performance this is not good the battery performance it's maybe increase or uh, it's maybe improve in future updates so stay tuned in my channel so do subscribe and like this video and everything was just pretty much simple and the app opening time was quite faster and uh, i just really really thank to developer who make this room and uh, see he did really awesome work so make sure that you just hit thanks button in xda page and yeah guys this is pretty much in this video hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the more content like this okay guys thanks for watching i will meet in the next one peace